beautiful crowd to be at a gorgeous building this morning. Uh, first, I want to start off by thanking Steve Toohey and his uh, uh, Flags of Freedom group for the wonderful display of the American flag out front. So we can thank them very much. Deep breath. Today is a monumental day for wildlife conservation and research efforts in Stark County. We are so thankful you are here to celebrate this milestone with Stark Parks. The Joseph J. and Helen M. Summer Wildlife Conservation Center is dedicated to conservation and rehabilitation of native wildlife and their habitat through research, education, and quality animal care. The building was designed by Sol Harris Day Architecture and built by Summit Construction Company. I think there might be some people in the audience with, with those two groups. Thank you very much for a wonderful job. It's designed to provide the best care for injured wildlife until, until they can be returned to their natural habitats. It includes exam room, quarantine room, recovery room, together with Outdoor enclosures designed for waterfowl, mammal, raptor, and songbird animals where they can recover and then eventually be released into the natural habitat from which they were taken when they were injured. The wildlife ambassadors, uh, those animals that cannot be released into the wild for various physical reasons, uh, also will be taking raw care of today in this building. And you are seeing some of them that were out here earlier mingling amongst the crowd and they represent the species that will be used for programming throughout the year and throughout the school systems and other programs throughout the county. This wildlife conservation center represents an example of transformation of a vision, the Stark County Parks mission into a reality. Uh, what was in the early days, and then we were just talking to Joe and I over 40 years ago, uh, was a place for the public to bring injured animals to be cared for uh, is now a center where wildlife and natural nature programming combined with field surveys and research programs that will improve the quality of life for all of Stark County. Opportunities for collaboration amongst grade schools, high schools, and universities are endless. Uh, it's a place to study the environment, monitor habitats, and wildlife, and to share these findings and shape new methods to benefit our world in the future. The building is an impressive sight. Seeing and sharing the work from employees and volunteers, students and teachers will be great to witness. And I have to say, you have no idea what the staff has done in the last two weeks to be ready for you here today. It's been a yeoman's effort, a personal and a group thanks for all the staff present. Did all that. Watching families and their children, visitors interact with nature and wildlife, will be making memories together is certainly one of the reasons we exist. Making memories for a lifetime. Uh, it's very important that our children learn about nature and appreciate it so we have this for their children someday. Presenting this facility to other park districts to show them what we are working on uh, and we actually did this last week, we, or last month, we had a group of directors from throughout the state visit this building. And it's a great feeling of pride to be able to know that we've got one of the most outstanding facilities in the state of Ohio for animal care and for education. It's, it's not a single purpose building. We must remember what happens because of this building will be so impactful. The center offers every visitor that attends a program or a field trip or connected by virtual reality through a distance learning program, uh, through volunteering, uh, providing an opportunity to appreciate and examine our relationship with plants and animals around us. These experiences will be unique to each person, but also can be a definite life-changing experience. Just like any other park project, working together is how this came to fruition. <laughs> Donations and community support raised nearly half of the cost of the building, and an endowment is underway for long-term support of this center. I want to make a special thank you to the Stark County Park District Board of Commissioners for volunteering to oversee the development of the park system and their guidance as we look to the future. 
Today, I know we have Andy Hayden present, our chairman. Andy, right here. And did any other board members be able to make it today? Pat Quick is here. And I know uh, we also have Denise Freeland wasn't able to make it. Uh, Bill Bryan and Charlie Ringer make up our current board. So a big round of applause for the work they do. All of you. We also want to thank our friends of Stark Parks Association for holding annual fundraisers and helping make this project a reality. Uh, current president Carl Oprich. Carl here. Any other board members, please raise your hands. Thank you all as board members for all the work you've done to make this possible. There are also many donors who have invested in this cause. Uh, these donors are recognized on the wall of friendship inside the lobby, and several will be recognized here today as we speak further. First off, we are happy to have Alan and Lee Dolan here today. They have served many groups and causes in the area, and we are happy Friends of Stark Parks and Canton Audubon Society were on their list. Thank you for volunteering countless hours and to preserve nature and teach us about being better stewards and thank you for donating financially to this project, which is why the Wildlife Viewing Area is named in their honor. We also want to thank Dr. Gary Riggs for his many hours volunteering for the many trips he takes to Stark Parks and all over the world to help wildlife. He is our volunteer veterinarian. He is, we are fortunate to have his expertise in the local area for many wildlife cases that require advanced medical treatment and care. This volunteer conservation organization, Wild Forever, works to protect and preserve wildlife and wild areas for the benefit of the animals and the people who appreciate them. We thank you for your donations over the years, but specifically for donating the outdoor flight cage that is under construction right now and will be completed soon, and will be named in honor of Dr. Riggs. That happens to be the construction site right around, the, right over the, across the parking lot there that's underway. Another special recognition to Faye Heston, who served on the Stark County District Board of Commissioners from 2008 to 2016 and was instrumental in many park projects and growth during that time. She also served as a co-chair for the Wild Night for Wildlife events through Friends of Stark Parks, which helped fund this building. She and her late husband, T, generously contributed to this project, and their generosity uh, results in the naming of the education classroom in their names. And uh, thank you very much, and I'm so sorry. Finally, we honored and recognized Joe Summer for his longtime commitment to protecting the environment and promoting conservation and natural resources. His efforts with Stark Parks began when he helped to establish the Stark County Park District over 50 years ago. He went on to serve Stark County as a county commissioner and eventually the state of Ohio in many capacities, including director of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. During his time with ODNR, he was instrumental in adding more than 1,600 acres in state nature preserves to their wow. lands. Joe is still active today with many organizations, including the Friends of Stark Parks. In addition, Joe has made substantial financial contributions in memory of his late wife, Helen, that went towards making this project possible. In recognition of his lifetime commitment to protecting and preserving <coughs> natural resources throughout Ohio, and for his contribution to making this building a reality, the Stark County Park District is thrilled to name this new building the Joseph J. and Helen M. Summer Wildlife Conservation Center. Please join me in welcoming Joe Summer for a few remarks. Thank you, Bob. Chairman Hayden, uh, other members of the board, uh, you know, I've been
been thinking what 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 I, what I wanted to say, and uh, I'm almost amazingly at a loss for words. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought that something like this would be happening and named for Helen and myself. Helen passed away in June, uh, eight years ago, and uh, I know that she would be overwhelmed with pride, and as I am, for uh, uh, seeing our names on this wonderful building. Uh, as Bob mentioned, this wildlife program goes back some 40 years, and uh, over that time, there have been many, many people involved. It's, much of it has been based on volunteerism. What? And uh, of course, with some dedicated uh, staff people who have been overseeing the operation, but uh, they tell me today there are about 100 people uh, volunteers uh, willing to give of their time and their expertise for the program that's carried out here. And uh, I think that's great. And I, I don't want to lose sight. This, this new building is, is such a wonderful facility. And uh, don't want to lose sight of the fact that the former facility was uh, not quite uh, up to par. Uh, and, and that's why I, I want to really thank and show my appreciation for the folks that have volunteered, kept this program alive all through these years, and working under uh, less than ideal circumstances. Yeah. We, we start a new era with the, the new building. It's a beautiful facility. And I'm so proud to see our names on it. I'm not going to bore you with a long speech, but uh, I do want you to know that thank you to the board, to Bob Font, uh, to the Friends of Stark Parks. Uh, you know, thank you doesn't seem to be adequate. How do you express the feelings that I have? When Bob called me, it's, told me what the board wanted to do and put our names here, I got goosebumps. <laughs> and uh, I am very, very, on behalf of Helen and myself, very appreciative for what has happened here, the fact that we are a part of it. And uh, I hope that this program will go on many, many years into the future. and. Uh, uh, that uh, you will all appreciate it when you get a chance to go ahead in and uh, go through it and see what we have. It's a wonderful addition to Sark County Park District, a, a great uh, honor to be a part of it. And uh, again, I uh, wish you all well and uh, think I've said enough. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. At this time, I would like to invite the Stark County Park Board members, the Friends of Stark Parks, Joe Summer, Alan Lee Dolan, Faye Heston, Dr. Gary Riggs, to come up and officially open the Joseph J. and Henry, or Helen M. Summer Wildlife Conservation Center. <coughs> officially open the doors uh, we welcome you inside the atrium and classroom area to visit uh, the enclosures behind the building 
there will be a hike along the improved wetland trails to a new bridge donated in memory of Diana Steidelman. Uh, we'll leave shortly after. Please meet in the trail behind the center for a half mile walk and dedication for that bridge. Uh, there'll be plenty of time to see the building, take the walk. We'll be here most of the day, so don't feel like you're going to miss anything if you take the walk. At this point, come around for this side of the table. We have a special guest, Wesley the Possum, is going to help us cut this ribbon today. So get your cameras ready, everyone. Ha, 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 ha. 